Alrighty guys, so it's 10 o'clock. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I have roped Gabby into um, two webinars in a row, so <laughs> she may kill me after this one, but um, we just wanted to kind of walk you through um, today using Real Stout to create a landing page. And so that is totally free to you. Um, create a custom landing page where you can drive people to this website to essentially search for homes. And then of course, what that means for you is that they are in your search portal. You can see everything that they're doing, and then hopefully it means more leads. Um, and then what we're gonna do, Gabby is gonna take over after we get the landing page set up, and then she's essentially gonna show you how to link that to a Facebook ad. So we're generating leads, and we're nurturing them through Real Scout. So of course, as always, feel free to unmute yourself, message us in the chat if you have any questions as we kind of walk through this. But um, what I wanna start with first is Real Scout. So Everyone on here, I'm hoping, has access to Real Scout. If not, message me and I can resend your login info. Um, but so Real Scout is a system that Remax Executive provides to you. Again, it's for free. Um, it is a great alternative to the MLS search. And so you can add your buyers in here. They can search all the MLS um, kind of inventory and all of that. And then, of course, you're tracking everything on your end. Real Scout is also really nice because it's a little bit more user friendly, I think, than a lot of the MLSs are. And then it also has some fun add ons like this landing page and some social media ads, um, and things like that. So, if you have questions on Real Scout, we've done a whole uh, webinar on it already as far as the functionality of, excuse me, functionality of it. Um, so, I can send out that link if you need it. But today we're just going to focus on landing pages. So, with that being said, when you log in, you're automatically brought to your Real Scout dashboard. And what you're gonna do is go up to your account in the top left and go to my profile. And so the only thing you're doing on this section is of course, adding in your headshot and then updating any information like your phone number, your email, all of that good stuff. And so at the bottom here, this is also important, you can link up any of your social profiles. So just copy and paste those links in here, and then they'll show up on your website, which I'm gonna show you in just a bit. So real simple, edit, whatever you need. And make sure when you're putting in the phone number, you put it in how you would want it to look, like on a business card or something, because it pulls this directly and puts it onto your landing page. Cool, really simple. So then we're gonna go down on the left side under extras. And we're gonna to go to the landing page section here. And so is everybody familiar with what a landing page is? I guess we should probably start with that. <laughs> so a landing page is kind of like a single page website that is usually created for some sort of purpose. And so for this one, the purpose obviously is driving people to your search portal. Um, so Real Scout creates a landing page for you. It gives you a custom URL as well, which we're gonna need later when we go to create the Facebook ad. Um, but it also lets you customize all this information on here as well, because obviously this bridge is not something that you'd find in our North or South Carolina. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this customize landing page. And it's gonna bring me into the live edit mode. And so I've already gone in and changed out my photos. Um, so yours will look a little bit different when you pull it up. I believe it should just have that bridge photo and then maybe like an ocean photo below it. Um, but all of this information, you can come in and change. And so if you want to change the background photo, you can just hit this change button. And you can pull it from your computer. Oops. Oh, well, I removed my shirt the one. <laughs> so now you can see what yours will look like before. Um, you can also come in here and change out the text. And so um, I've changed mine to say, are you ready to find your dream home? And I've also included a little let's start searching text as well. And so I guess just so I can show you, since I deleted my photo, um, I can click on this, browse, browse. Oh. <laughs> this is how this usually works when I try to show things on live webinars. <laughs> One moment, I'm feeling lucky. All right, whatever. You understand the gist. So you would click on change photo, hit browse, and then pull it up from your desktop. And then what's nice down here 
is that you can also change out the photo. I'm not going to click that button because now we know what happens. Um, but I changed out to a little blue background just to kind of match my Remax branding. Um, but you can change it to whatever you prefer. And then I have my bio in here as well, which of course you can come in, you can edit all of this. I don't have a real bio, so that's what we're going with. I can add in a photo or video as well, which I had in here at one moment, but it seems like we're having some technical issues. Um, and then of course you can change out um, the text on here as well. And so the headshot, your name, your phone number, and your social links here at the bottom, those are all coming from your profile. So that's why you want to start with your profile, make sure everything is set up correctly, and then jump into your landing page um, and make any adjustments that you need. Any questions on editing this other than obviously the stuff that doesn't work? <laughs> so once I have it all laid out like I want, I can go ahead and hit see page and it will give me the live version and what consumers would see. Oh, there's my video. The live version of my whole landing page. And so for those of you wondering why I have a video in here, um, it's just a little plug for either the agent profile videos that we announced during the summit, um, or of course you can come into Remax Hustle, which I love so much, and you can create all of these custom videos for free. And you can put your personal information in there, your headshot, all that good stuff. Um, and you can essentially do all of that through Remax Hustle. And I'll put that in the chat as well for those of you that are new to it. Um, but you can create those videos and then come back into your Real Scout account and plug them in. So it just creates it a little bit more engaging. So now that you have your landing page set up, just so you guys can see it from a consumer perspective, um, when they come in here, they view this page through your Facebook ad that Gabby's going to help you set up. Um, you can come in and you can do your searching. So depending on what neighborhood or area you're looking in, I'm just going to do Dilworth. And if I were the consumer, it would prompt me to sign up and create an account. I'll use my Yahoo yeah, one. And then I can log in and sign up. Oh, that email's already been taken, of course. <laughs> all right, so essentially you can come in and then as a consumer, you can do all of your searching. If you can see in the background of the screen, um, because I put in Dilworth as my location I'm looking in, it's already gonna kind of map out my search um, just for that specific area. And so your clients can come in here. Obviously this is a branded search portal. Um, if you can see my picture name in the background on the top left, um, and so, of course, anything that a consumer does in here, obviously they're creating an account and you're going to be able to track it in your Real Scout account as well. So I want to pause there. Any questions on creating your landing page in Real Scout? It's not a super complicated process. And again, it's just going to give you somewhere where you can drive traffic to. And then, of course, consumers can come in here and do their searching and hopefully you can connect with them. Sorry for the technical issues. <laughs> Good. All righty. So just as a reminder, so back on the Real Scout page, your personal Real Scout landing page link is going to be right here. And so everyone's will be different, obviously. If you want to get fancy and purchase a domain to forward to that um, website, you can definitely do that. And Real Scout will actually help you with that whole process. So down at the bottom, after you purchase a domain, you can connect with them and they'll help essentially forward that to your custom landing page. All righty. Well, if there's no questions, I'm going to let Gabby take over. Move it down. Hi, good morning, everyone. So I'm going to walk you all through uh, setting up this landing page so it's connected to your Facebook ad. Give me one second. All right. So first off, we want to start off uh, signing into your personal account, and this will be whichever one is connected to your Facebook business page. Then on your left-hand side, 
you're going to want to scroll down, find your page. Sorry, I have a bunch on here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll use Diane McGuire as my example. And then once you're on this page, you want to scroll on the left hand side again and click on Add Center. After going into Add Center, you want to click Create an Ad. And then this will allow you to choose a goal. So you could pick any of these, whichever would be most appropriate for your ad. So for this one, it's going to be get more website visitors since we want them to click on that landing page link. So within this part, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so we're going to start off with a description. This should be something that's extremely clear and uh, concise. So telling the whoever seeing the ad exactly what you want them to do once they see it. So we're just going to say, uh, click the learn here or learn more button below to find your dream home. It'd be great if I could type. <laughs> okay. And you wanna make sure that's less than 90 characters so it's visible on even small screens. So then after that, we're gonna scroll right here and upload the image that you want to use for your ad. And we're going to provide you guys um, in our recap with um, a link to a couple different ads that you guys can use so that you don't have to worry about creating them. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. <laughs> yeah. So once that's all uploaded, you can also do up to five images and videos within a single ad if you wanted to do like the carousel type but we'll just stick with this for now. And then when you want to make a catchy headline, so maybe just find your dream home. And then you want to click here uh, on the button label and we're going to keep it as learn more, but if you had one that you wanted people to contact you from or uh, sign up for a newsletter, you could change that here as well. So then we're going to put the landing page link right here. It's the website URL. So go back into Real Scout, um, copy and paste that link right into the website URL. So this is probably the most important part because we need to make sure we're putting this option for the special ad category on because it's to make sure that you're not discriminating against anyone in the housing industry. So click on that and click housing. If you don't put this on, they will deny your ad. So you'll have to redo all of this again. So it's important to do it the first time. And then next up, um, would be picking our audience. So you would click this little pencil right here. Uh, with this ad category, we can't change the age or uh, gender just because that would be discriminating. So then we're going to pick a location. We're just going to do Charlotte. Oh, I'm sorry, right there. And you have to do at least a 15 mile radius. So we'll keep it as 15 miles because that's a good amount. Then go into your detail targeting. So this will be where you input interest or uh, certain behaviors that Facebook users do on Facebook. So like what they're searching for. So maybe we want to do Zillow. And uh, Zillow Premier Agent. This would just be anything that a user has searched or uh, put any interest in on Facebook in the past. So maybe first time home buyer or buyer. Oh. All right. And you'll want to scroll down. A long list. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll do house hunting, house. 
Yeah, so there's a lot to choose from, just depending on who you're trying to target and what kind of interest you think they may have. So we can just add sale that. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know where the save button went. All right. All right, so once we're done with that, we're going to pick uh, the duration of the ad. So usually I say five to seven days is a good amount of time to do an ad. So we'll do seven. And then here's where you'll adjust your daily budget. So I suggest putting at least um, 30 to $50 behind every ad just because you won't get much results out of it if you do anything less than that. So you can also choose to run this ad continuously as well and do a total budget, but we'll keep it so we can pick how long we want it to go for. And it will just use up this amount on the side um, throughout those seven days. And it also gives you an estimate of the daily results. So this ad is expected to reach 928 to 2,700 users per day and have 33 to 90 sets link clicks per day. So pretty good. And then down here is where you would add your payment information. So we'll just exile this because I'm not gonna run this ad on Diane's account without her knowing. So once the ad is published and approved by Facebook, you can come back into this ad center and it will list all of the ads that are currently running. It will say active right here with the green check mark if it's still going. And you can come in here throughout the whole duration of the ad and check out the results just by clicking that. So you'll see this ad had 239 link clicks. It reached 7,100 people and it will give you the cost per click, show you how many people engaged with the ad, how many people reacted to the ad, and then also more demographic. So was it more women or men that were interacting with the ad? It will show you where the ad was placed. So that would be within um, the Facebook mobile app on someone's news feed. This would be within Facebook Marketplace. And then these two would just be on the regular news feed. And then you can also see what your details were, how long it uh, lasted for your daily budget and give you a nice little preview of the ad as well. So this is a good place to check out what's working, what's not. You can always come back in, adjust your budget if you think you uh, aren't getting the results that you would want, add more money or uh, change your goal, anything like that you would come in here for. <laughs> you guys have any questions on the ads? How many of you are running ads right now on Facebook or Instagram? Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to share a computer screen, so it's a little bit of a um, challenge. Okay, did you guys hear me? Okay, perfect. Yeah, so Facebook ads, Instagram ads are all really good options, especially right now where um, a lot of people are still at home. Um, and online and looking at things. And it's also a good kind of budget-friendly way to get in front of a lot of people really easily. Yeah. And so what we showed you today, I know there's obviously a ton of different ads that you could run. Um, what we're focusing on today are kind of buyer-focused ads. And so that's the whole point. Real Scout is a tool for buyers to be able to search the inventory. And so just keep that in mind when you're creating your ad. Um, if you end up using one of the graphics that we're gonna share with you, or if you end up using one of your own, your content, your photos, all of that should be focused at buyers. And so obviously you can run kind of like a seller focused ad, but it's gonna look a little bit different. Um, I'm trying to think of what other, any other tips or tricks in terms of running the ads, anything that you've found that, that works well? Um, I definitely found videos work the best. Um, I've been working with Scott Sadler on them and he's been putting, uh, about $100 behind a video to boost it and he would get 
for anywhere from 10 to 13,000 viewers on the video. So that's pretty awesome. But it just shows how video focused everyone is now compared to just a flat image. Yeah, and if you're not totally comfortable getting behind the camera, that Remax Hustle link that I put in the chat, um, you can literally just upload a headshot. And so it's still a video, it's still engaging with people, but then you don't have to worry about um, speaking on video because I know sometimes it's a little hard. Um, trust me, we've, we've done enough videos at this point that we get it. Um, but you can still engage with video and use that in your Facebook ad as well. So I guess if anyone has anything they want to share, any types of buyer focused ads that have worked for them, Just quiet today. Alrighty. Well, if this is all still uh, gibberish to you, <laughs> as always, Gabby is here if you need her. Um, she can help you create Facebook ads. Um, she can design them, post them, manage them, whatever you need. Um, I can help you with Real Scout if you need that as well. But I think that's all we've got for you today, unless anyone has any questions. <laughs>